Hey, and welcome to my channel. My name is Heather, and this is the Fluffy Oracle. Today's reading is going to be all about what's up with your love life, bruh, <laughs> and what's going to be coming in next for you in your love life. So, timestamps are going to be down below, as usual, in the description box, as well as any affiliate links for all the decks that I've used, in case you would like to add to your lovely deck collections and expand them just like I do, because <laughs> I'm a decaholic. Just to put that out there, yes, I'm going to admit it. So, your choices for pile one are what is love? Thanks for not being just another weirdo on the internet for pile number two. For some cheeky, little bit of flair. And the happy Valentine's Day with the heart balloons. So, timestamps will also, as well before I forget, be down below in the very first comment for my mobile users to skip around to your deck and your pile. So without further ado, we will go ahead and jump right in. If you're new here and you like these types of videos and you like what you see on my channel, please feel free to consider subscribing and joining our big happy family and hitting that subscribe button down below or hitting my bright and shiny face at the end of the video to subscribe to my channel. Alrighty, and I will see you at your pile. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose pile number one, what is love? Baby, don't hurt me. <laughs> with the sheep in the middle, let's find out what's up with your love life and get some extra guidance as well for you. So these over here are going to be a general overview of the entire situation for the reading. These are going to be an expansion for the overview and some extra guidance on what's going on and what's possibly coming in for you. And then these up here are going to be some extra guidance to help you out with the entire reading as well as maybe some extra messages for what may be coming in for you or what you can do for what's coming in with you to kind of help pull it in a little bit more. Alrighty? So, let's see what we have with the first pile. We have Hedgehog Love, Positive Uplifting New Friends. So, I'm going to do each card first, lay them down, and then I will tell you what I get. The Delicate Fairy and her ferrets changes natural good and yes it can hurt so I'm just gonna read the cards first and then I will tell you what I'm getting after sorry I just want to clarify that the golden phoenix something you thought finished burst back into life so with these cards I feel like you've made some new friends recently and you've also kind of gotten rid of the old for what no longer serves you. Like you've kind of outgrown some of these friendships and you've made some new ones. And some of these old friendships that fell away kind of hurt recently and kind of left you with kind of like a broken heart. But I see that they're coming back with the Golden Phoenix with something burst back into life that you thought was finished. I feel like these friends that kind of like you lost touch with are definitely going to be coming back at some point and they are going to be kind of like a fresh new start is what I hear for you and kind of like a burst of new life for you and a breath of fresh air let me see what else I get with these not getting much else but if I do I'll come back to it so let's see what we get with the um, tarot cards up here so we have trust which is with the fool dreams come true the nine of cups and then we have lead And then simple love. Just bear with me because this is kind of a new setup for me, so I'm still getting used to it. So with trust, dreams come coming true, lead, and simply love. I feel like there's someone from your past that's coming back to form a new relationship with you in love. And it may have been an old friendship, which is probably what that newness is coming back with. And that burst of fresh air and that breath of life. And I feel like 
your dreams are going to come true because this friend meant that much to you and it's going to make you feel like absolutely wonderful and powerful and that you'll be able to have trust in someone and you'll be able to kind of have like a blind faith and take a leap of faith with them because you trust them so much because you already know them and because that they've come back from the past and it was something that you were probably hoping and wishing for is what I'm getting that would happen like kind of in the past but it wasn't kind of the right time is what I'm getting for this friendship and the relationship to come from it but it's coming in the, um, now is what I'm getting for the general overview of this so let's see what the extra guidance is with this so we have cultivation for the first card for the extra guidance and then we have splendor acceptance golden path and then we have meditation so with these cards I feel like this is definitely going to take some time to bring it all together and to kind of like finally grasp this entire situation but I feel like once you do, it's going to lead you to a whole new wonderful happiness for you. And I feel like meditating is going to help to bring this in for you. And it's going to help you to kind of go in the right direction and to kind of know the direction that you need to go in in order to bring this about. And I'm going to turn these cards around for you so that you can see what I'm looking at here. So, I'm being really drawn to the Splendor card. The Splendor card is going to be a lot of wonderful transition for you, a lot of wonderful times ahead, a lot of sweet and amazing blissful times as well. And I feel like it's going to be everything that you actually really need. But you need to learn how to also bring yourself into acceptance of this and to be open to receiving these gifts especially if that's what you've been wanting is a new relationship with this old friend that's coming back and a love relationship with them because they were basically your best friend in the entire world is what I'm getting with this. So let's see what we have for the guidance for the entire reading. I have Iksha with Medicine Woman from the Goddess Guidance. You are a channel for divine healing power. And then we have Irene with Peace. which her card reads, there's no need to worry as everything is working out beautifully. So I feel like with these two cards, that they're asking you to kind of remain calm and to know that everything is working out and that everything is just fine. And that things are healing on their own from kind of like old wounds and kind of old fallings out and things that no longer serve the relationship have kind of taking um, its time to heal itself over this split that you had for them to come back because whatever needed to happen for you two to fall away there were some things that needed to be healed on both um, your end and their end and then we have leap of faith with Ein take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action And then with that, it's kind of bringing me back to the trust card with taking that leap of faith with them and kind of just making that leap forward and being able to trust them fully and openly as well as them needing to also vice versa take that leap of faith and trust you. And then we have Believe with St. Hildegard of, I'm like, in Jen, I'm not even sure. Because I'm like, I've never read the word before, but whatever. The card is believe. Have faith in this relationship. Trust and know that it's for the greatest and highest good. And then be brave with um, guardian angel. Know that your angels and your guides are actually with you, kind of helping push you guys together. And that this is a divinely timed connection. 
and a divine connection in itself as well because you guys are absolute soulmates is what I get with this because your friendship was a soulmate friendship at first and then you're kind of progressing and turning that into a loving relationship is what I get that's coming in for you next with your love life so this is really great so at the end I'm also gonna do some love notes from the universe and the crazy sexy love notes for you guys so if you want feel free to stick around and check out the ending messages for some extra guidance so these are your messages I do hope that you enjoyed this reading and that this resonated with you and that you have a blissful wonderful Valentine's Day that's coming up on Thursday and I will see you guys at the end for the ending messages if not I will see you guys next video have a blessed one Alrighty, so from my loves who chose number two, or pile number two, thanks for not being just another weirdo on the internet. Let's see what we have for you for what's coming in next for you for your love life. These cards right here are going to be a general overview of the entire situation. These are going to be an expansion of these over here, as well as these tarot cards are going to help with the general overview with what we have. And then we have some extra guidance over here to help you with what may be coming in and these expansion messages are also going to be probably some extra stuff that may be coming in for you for the general overview so let's see what we have we have little Alan wisdom as light as a feather so you've been thinking quite a lot is what I get with this card and then we have Alice's <clears throat> Alice in a sea of tears cast away out of your depth feeling abandoned so you've definitely been in your feelings quite a lot lately and in your head with what's been going on and wondering what am I gonna do why why did this have to happen and then we have Beauty and the Beast you need some space in a relationship So I'm going to turn these around so I can take a good look at them and see if I get anything else. Alright, so I'm going to put these two together because they're supposed to be together with what I'm getting. Alright, so with taking space in a relationship because you are currently apart from someone is what I'm getting if you're drawn to this reading and that you've picked number two, it's giving you some time to think and sort out these emotions that have been um, kind of basically making you quite turbulent about whatever it is that's going on with you right now in your relationship and trying to figure out where it is you want to go and the direction instead of just kind of sitting there and not making any progress in your relationship you're kind of just wondering where you stand with it is what I'm getting with this and your relationship I feel was kind of like stagnant and that you kind of just felt like you were just floating around just in the same spot not making any kind of progress and just kind of feeling like stuck just feeling really really stuck and kind of almost to a point where it kind of made you a little bit moody so you decided that you needed to take a break and to think about things and to see exactly where this relationship was heading and kind of like figure out where your heart is is what I'm getting with this as well as kind of vice versa with your partner needing some time to think and or taking some time to think and figure out where it is that they're at with this relationship because you want to know how they feel and this can go vice versa either way for some of you so but either way you still both want to know where each of you stand on both sides of the coin is what I'm getting with this but you've both also needed some time to think and some space in order to think and then come back and speak truth to each other and to tell each other exactly how it is you feel about each other and what it is you want to do together in your relationship to make it kind of like on a deeper level is where you'd like to get instead of just being on the surface and floating there aimlessly so let's see what the tarot cards give us and then we'll get into the extra expansion messages. So with the tarot cards, we have challenging times. And then we have teach, 
which is the Hermit card. And then we have, actually no, that's the High Priestess would teach. My bad. Clarity of Belief, Ace of Swords, and Win or Lose, Five of Swords. So let me flip these around and see what else I get. All right. So with these, I feel like you intuitively knew this was coming and almost like you were fighting a losing battle with this because it's just something that's been brewing for so long and it's been making you have your guard up for quite some time with these challenging um, times because you've been going back and forth with it because you've been stuck in your head and in your heart for so long and then you've been searching for so much clarity that you really haven't been able to get that clarity that you really need because of the fighting the losing battle. So that's kind of probably why you've taken some time apart in order to figure things out and to get that clarity that you actually really need and to kind of feel things out and see where it is that, like I said before, where everyone stands and where everyone's head and heart is at with this relationship. So let's get some expanded um, guidance on this. So we have courage. This split took a lot of courage between the both of you is what I'm getting with this. And a lot of strength to do because it's a relationship that I feel that you were absolutely really connected to and wanted to work really badly. And then we have insight. So back to the intuition, you kind of seen this coming and you kind of just put it off, but it was basically fighting the inevitable as well. And then we have spiritual quest. So this split is kind of helping you to go within and figure out exactly what it is you want to do. And if you want to try and come back together and stick it out is what I'm getting. This is a really strange flippy floppy reading for me, but I'm giving you what I'm getting. We have golden memories. You look back on a lot of the good times and you really want to hold on to those is what I'm getting. And then we have creativity. So you were creatively kind of trying to do everything that you could to push it off. But like I said, you were fighting the inevitable. So this was bound to happen. But I'm getting it was for the greatest and highest good because you both needed this time to take a step back and look at exactly how it is you both feel about each other. I get that you still talk from time to time and check in with each other and say, hey, how you doing? What's up? Where you been? What's new with you? That type of thing. But the spark just isn't there anymore. Like it's fading is what I'm getting with this. Now, I know that it sucks that that's happening with this relationship, but I feel like it's also creatively pushing you forward in order to go deeper and figure out what it is you truly want in a relationship, whether it's with the same person or not. It's leading you to figure out what exactly it is that you want in life. Great. My computer just shut off. Anyway, it's pushing you forward in order to get to where it is that you need to be on a deeper level, on a deeper soul level, so that you can make a deeper connection when you do come back into another relationship. So let's see what the extra guidance cards are to see if we can um, figure out if there's something new coming in for you. So we have heaven is watching over you with guardian angel. So with this card, I feel like your guardians are there to help you through this and they're helping you try and sort it out and they're trying to get your attention and they're also giving you some love and affection from like the sideline to help keep you kind of just stable is what I'm getting. And then we have confidence with Archangel Michael. So with this, I feel like you do have the strength to get through this and that it's just going to take time 
to bring you guys either back together or into connection with somebody new if that is what you want. But you have to take the time now to decide why you're thinking during this break. What it is you clearly want and how it is you want to go about it. And then we have Mary Magdalene with unconditional love. Love yourself, others, and every situation no matter what the outward appearance may be. So with this it's kind of saying, how are you going to love someone else if you can't really love yourself? you got to go within and figure out what it is that's kind of triggering you and give yourself a little bit more time and some self-love as well with this is what I'm getting. And then, and only then, can you kind of come back into another relationship with somebody else because if you dive right into another relationship without figuring out what it is you really want, you're going to end up right back in the same spot. And then we have Sarasvati, the arts. Express yourself through creative activities. So if you have conversations with this person that you split up with, express how it is that you feel and see if they can express how they feel and then go from there with that. And then maybe that'll help also deepen your connection for some of you out there is what I'm getting. Other than that, kind of journal about what it actually is that you really want or don't want in love and go from there and see exactly where your heart lies and where your feelings and where your head is at with what it is that you want for your love life. And then we have Dharma or Damar, excuse me, guiding children. You are good at helping, counseling, and healing children. Use your skills to help children now. So with this, I feel like if with this relationship that you kind of wanted children with this person, like you saw yourself having a family with that person, you have to talk to them and kind of get their end of it. Because if you both want different things, then it's kind of not going to, it's not going to work out the way you want it to be. It's going to be like mixing oil and water together and you guys will forever remain separated in that on the differences because mixing oil and water doesn't really mix they always end up separating regardless because one is heavier than the other but if you can meet in the middle and come to a happy medium between the both of you with what it is that you want and deepening this connection and sharing a family together if that's what you truly want then that's what needs to be talked about as well as what I'm getting with this this reading was quite difficult. It was kind of scattered and all over the place. But then again, I'm reading for a general reading for the masses. So I do hope that some of these messages resonated with you. So please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest that does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me to kind of get a deeper in insight on what is going on with your love life, I do have a two for one special going on this month till the end of this month. So only like another week or so is left to getting the two for 20 deal. Other than that, I have normal rates that are in my uh, community section as well, or you can just email me and I will email you the rates and let you know exactly what I have for other prices because I do have other readings that may help you a little bit deeper. Alrighty. So these are your messages. I do hope that they resonated. Like I said before, and I also will be doing some ending messages from the Crazy Sexy Love Notes and the Notes of the Universe on Love and Connection. So please feel free to stick around for those messages. If not, I will see you guys next video. Alrighty, so for my loves who chose pile number three, the Happy Valentine's Day with the heart balloons, let's see what we get for you. These cards over here are going to be an overview of the entire reading and your situation for you for what's going on. These cards over here are going to be an expansion and hopefully some extra guidance and for what's coming in for you. And then these cards up here are going to be some guidance for the entire reading and hopefully some extra advice to either help you or some more stuff that may be even coming in for you next for your love life. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's jump in and see what we have. So I'm going to read the cards first and Put them down so that you can see and then I will flip them towards myself so that I can figure out exactly what I'm getting for you guys. So 
You are unlike anyone else. Your contradictions and complexities are interesting. Once upon a midnight dreary, creativity, genius, writing, expression, artistic flow. And then we have Wolf Moon. I will watch over you. And then I'm also going to read the tarot cards because I feel drawn to pull those too. So for the tarot cards, we have Observe, which is the hangman in this deck. We have Seek the Truth, Seven of Swords, Heal, and I believe that's the Devil card in this deck. And then we have New Vitality with Ace of Wands. So I'm going to flip these back around and see exactly what I'm getting with this. Move these out of the way for a quick second so I can spread them out a little easier. Alrighty. So, I get that you have met someone that's unlike anyone else from this, and that it was basically someone that you were kind of trying to manifest is what I'm getting especially with this um, full moon and I get it was during the, the last new moon from your intentions so everything's coming in quite quickly for that and then what else I get that you've been waiting just a little bit and trying to see exactly how this is panning out because you were asking for a healing on like a soul and emotional level and to bring in a new beginning in love is what I'm getting with this and I feel like this person has kind of just waltzed in to your life and kind of everything is still just beginning and you're kind of trying to figure out exactly how this is going to play out so you're kind of just hanging back keeping an eye on everything and trying to view everything from a higher perspective and you are trying to kind of be more open to this situation because you're still at this point healing is what I'm getting even though this is an absolutely wonderful new beginning for you is what I'm getting and then let's do some expansion so we have drive for the first card perseverance Priorities, heaven on earth, and earth connection. So I'm going to turn these around and see exactly what I'm getting with these. So it's just a little bit easier for me to read them for you. is in shot because <laughs> this is a new setup for me and a new camera completely new camera all right so let's see with this new relationship that's coming in for you or that's came in for some of you I feel like it's definitely giving you the motivation and the drive to get through all this emotional heartache from the past and that it's given you the strength to persevere through all of it and it's also helped you put things into perspective with the priorities cards card and then we have the heaven on earth and the earth connection I feel like this is a soulmate on a more grounded level that's helped you to ground more and feel more connected to kind of like a relationship and a love aspect that you kind of never really saw coming and that you've never had before and it's kind of it's a blissful feeling and it's just completely knocked you off your feet is what I'm getting with this or it's going to 
for those that it's coming in for is what I'm getting. I'm getting that it's coming in for some and some of you this is already happening. So if you are head over heels in love with someone, you are definitely extremely intertwined and connected because I'm really attracted to all the vines in this card and you guys have basically taken root and gotten a firm foundation between the two of you which is absolutely wonderful because it's given you that motivation in life and love that's made you kind of put everything into perspective and figure out this is what you want this is what you've been asking for this is what you've been calling in with the manifestation that you had made recently on either the full moon well the new full moon whatever that wolf blood moon that we just went through last time and then also we have a new full moon coming in on the 19th so if this person is still coming in for you set your intentions now do your intention rituals now and put them out there to the universe so that they can bring this person in for you and give you exactly what it is that you've been asking and so deserving and longing for so let's see what the extra guidance is for the entire reading so we have higher education then we have optimism. Artemis, with guardian, you and your loved ones are safe and spiritually protected. With that, I heard immediately stay focused and set your intentions. Abundantia, with prosperity. The universe is pouring its abundance out to you. Be open to receiving. And then we have Pele with Divine Passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's, <clears throat> excuse me, be honest with yourself. What is your heart's truest desire? And then we have Rhiannon. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. So I'm going to flip these around once again so I can see exactly what I'm getting. So, for those of you who are still trying to bring this person in, stay focused and set your intentions, especially with the new um, full moon coming up on the 19th. But be smart about exactly what it is that you want and how you want to um, go about writing it in your journal for setting your intentions to have that come in. And also, kind of channel your inner sorceress with this or your inner goddess is what I'm getting. And I also feel like this relationship that's going to be coming in for you or the one that you are currently just starting with this person is going to definitely be a very happy and prosperous one. And that you kind of called this in and you followed your heart's passion and your desires, your ultimate desires. Put also all of that into your intentions for your new moon rituals or your full moon rituals, excuse me. And I feel like that'll help draw everything in and there's also another moon in this card and this moon that's in this card is another full moon so definitely a lot a lot of manifestation magic can be done during this time leading up to the full moon and also a little bit after so make sure you figure out exactly what it is you want and be smart about it and the choices that you want when you're writing them down with the higher education card and I feel like it will transition everything beautifully and wonderfully but have faith and have hope in this with the optimism card and kind of hold everything in its highest regards and highest intentions with positive affirmations to help bring that in alrighty so these are your messages I do hope that they resonated for you and also feel free to stay tuned for the extra guidance messages at the end with the crazy sexy love notes and the universe um, on love and connection notes. So I will see you in just a sec for the ending messages. If you choose to skip those, know that I love you and I will see you next video. Alrighty, let's get to these ending messages and give you some extra guidance and a little bit of extra love from me to you. 
So I'm going to start off with the crazy sexy love notes and see what we get. guidance that you most need right now. I'm going to pull three, one for each pile, but these will be for everybody anyways, regardless. Really? It's like, no, I don't want to be shuffled. Well, I'm shuffling you anyway. <laughs> do some notes from the universe on love and connection for you to get you some extra guidance. Four more shuffles. Fine, we'll do two more. All right, so we'll start off with the extra one that popped out for an extra collective message. So it reads, there isn't a soul on the planet who doesn't crave your appeal. And on the back it says, the only difference between a friend and a foe is that you've decided where love can grow. And then it says, ho, the universe, H-O-E. Let's see if I can. And then that's the front of it. So with this, your love is very unique. It is also very desired by someone out there. It doesn't matter if they're in your life exactly right now at the moment. They are coming eventually. That is always a true fact, but it just is a matter of how you want to go about bringing that in is what I'm getting with this card. So we have that you have options is meaningful. Rock on. If I could make just two wishes, I'd wish I could somehow convey to you the profound depths of my gratitude for every moment of your life. I'd also wish that you could somehow know of your unimaginable importance, just as you are now, to the lives of so many, or uh, of so very many, excuse me. And of course, I'd wish for even more wishes. Aw, shoot. You were such a good idea, the universe. So, you have options, but be grateful for what you do have and celebrate for what you also have with them, is what I'm getting with that. 
And then we have listen. You are talking more than you're listening. Do you finish people's sentences for them? Shh. True connection is about how we make people feel and whether or not we're being open and present. Life is communicating with you, dear one. An important message is trying to get through. Let go of your fear of not being heard. You'll get your chance for now. Just listen. So talk with your partner and vice versa. Make sure that they listen to you as well. But both of you need to listen to each other ultimately, regardless. And also see each other's point of views and that'll help deepen your bond and relationship. If you can see the other person's point of view and you can tell them that, it'll kind of catch them off guard a little bit and it'll make them think, okay, well, they, they at least hear me and they understand me. And then we have time to make a demonstration. The older the soul, the softer the glance, the quicker the smile, and the sooner you to say, I love you. They also skip and wink more than normal and hold hands with those they walk beside. Utterly fearless, the universe. So. With this, it's kind of making a gesture of love is what I'm getting with this. Do something special for your partner or something special, at least for yourself, to show yourself a little bit of love and some extra time and some care. And that's what I'm getting really with that one. And then we have trust your intuition. It's time to stop seeking advice from others and go inside instead. You know what's best for your body, mind, and spirit. Sit in meditation, walk in the woods, ask yourself what you need, and listen. Tune into your inner guidance. When you get a, good, a gut reaction, honor it. You have the answer, and it's safe to trust yourself. Everything you need is already inside you. So, take some time to yourself. Really go within and listen to exactly what's going on within your body, and in your mind, and in your heart. And then from there, make some transformation and some changes that are most needed. If you live in New York just like I do, screw this frickin' fucking weather. I'm sorry, I hate it. It's crappy. I hate the snow, I hate the ice, I hate the cold. Don't even know why I still live in New York, but I'm from here. Lived here all my life. Traveled a little bit, enough to know that I would rather be in a warmer climate. Just saying. So don't worry about having to go outside in the woods. Just take some time and meditate, even if you have to imagine being out in the woods in a nice, quiet, serene place, by all means. Even a beach. That's where I'm going with my meditation. I have some lovely beach photos to practice with and to kind of like keep an image in my mind. So, <laughs> just going to put that out there. You're being watched by loving eyes. For pile number three. What if you're actually an ancestor? ancient gladiator. Let me start over. <laughs> what if you're actually an ancient gladiator of love and joy <laughs> who agreed to visit Earth during these primitive years to spark some new thinking? Share a few smiles and help others discover they too are awesome. Just saying, the universe. P.S. Up for a joust? Of course. With rubber thingies. I'm like, that just does not so right. <laughs> <laughs> with rubber thingies my mind went totally someplace else <laughs> but anyway know that people actually kind of pay attention to you and what you're doing and they look up to you and what you say and they're actually listening to everything and kind of hang on every word that you say so be mindful of what you're saying is what I'm getting with this and be mindful of what you're doing because you are setting an example you are awesome. And that card even just confirmed it too. So this is just more. Your greatest relationship is the one you have with yourself. Build it, strengthen it, praise yourself. Share what makes you proud. Your beaming delight will help others. Shift from glass half empty thinking to heck, I'm pretty awesome too. I damn sure I think so too. You're awesome, I'm awesome, we're all awesome. We are one big, awesome, happy family, is my view of this. 
So continue to stay awesome. Know that I love you. These are your messages and that I hope you enjoyed this wonderful reading. And if you liked it, feel free to subscribe and I will see you guys next video. Have a blessed one. I'm dreaming.